Hi guys, welcome to Warlord Games. Today you're joining Charlie and Rich for a little run through of Cruel Seas. So, brand new game on brand the Brand new game, yes. yes. Naval Combat. Yes. I'm excited. It's not something I've ever dipped my toes into before. A uh, big bolt action player, hence the reason I've got the Germans out on the table. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a completely new field for me. So tell me a little bit about what Cruel Seas is and what, you know, what we're looking to do with Cruel Seas. Well, Cruel Seas is a coastal warfare um, so it's a, the fleets are small ships. Um, they are going to be fighting their actions mainly in the shallower waters around the coastlines. Uh, and the conflict's going to be between the small, fast boats. Um, so if we look on the table, we've got our MTB, the yeah. Vospers, yeah. and you've got the Kriegsmarine, yeah. the uh, German Navy. Schnell and boots. they've got their Schnell boots. Yeah. Or, Who doesn't like saying Schnell boots? Yeah, e boats from <laughs> yeah. the British perspective. And Schnell boots just means fast boat, yeah. doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yes. Yeah. Um, and of course, the typical actions could be placing commandos on a beach, uh, could be infiltrating behind lines to try and put torpedoes into a port and sink the bigger ships. It could be just a day to day escort okay. where they manoeuvre. Um, goods and ferry materials like oil and food and ammunition yeah. between their forces and you're taking the opportunity to raid and take out enemy tonnage. Cool. I love, I love the idea of being able to play a game of Cruel Seas, of escorting um, the landing craft onto the beaches in, yep. uh, you know, in the Pacific and then going and playing a game of bolt action afterwards as well. There's always you know, that yeah, potential. How cool is that? Yes, cool absolutely. Is that? Yes. Cool. So what scenario are we playing today? Well, this is one of the uh, early scenarios in the uh, new book yeah. uh, that takes you through the steps of how to play a game. Uh, we've laid it out so that you can play the first couple of scenarios just to get used to moving the ships, cool. how you shoot with the ships. And this scenario, it brings in three against two, uh, escorting a yeah. container. With my container. And yeah. it's all about the torpedoes. So this is where we introduce torpedoes into the game into itself. The game, yeah. So yeah. It, without further ado then, so it, as I understand it, we've got We've got dice, but not order dice in the same yeah. sense. These are just to mark what I've got on the table. So here. this scenario, as I said, we're, we're just going to go through some of the steps, yeah. okay, to go show you what we're doing. What we've got is these chits. Uh, these have their national emblem on them, and I've got one for each of my ships. Yeah. And I'll pop those in the bag, cool. and you'll do the same with your three. So I've got, I've got two motor torpedo boats, haven't I? That's and then correct, yep. The one tanker. Can, yeah, yeah, nice big oil yeah. container. Okay, now we've got those chits in the bag, and a bit like our system bolt action, um, we're going to pull a chit out the bag. Cool. Okay, now the chit out the bag tells us who's actually going to go next. So there's that unknown element. And it's me. Luckily, it's you. Right. So this is an opportunity for you to start thinking about how you're going to perform. Yeah, so my, my objective is to get this, this tanker. tanker off this table edge. That's not too far. It's Actually, not too far, be, no. <laughs> should yeah. be able to manage that. So what you could do is just move the tanker. That's quite an easy one to start yeah. with. Now your tanker is traveling at full speed. Right. And your e-boats are traveling as slow as they can to maintain position with him. With him, right, okay. Yes. So we imagine as, as we start the game that these guys are, have they're been just, moving, they're not they're, they're already moving, yeah. they're exiting the port, they're heading out into the waters. Yeah. Yes. Taking that fuel to, uh, to to Rommel or whoever they get that's it the out one, to. Yeah. Doing that quick uh, quick jump across the Mediterranean. Well, I feel I feel like that's the obvious thing to do. So I don't want to move that tanker yet. I want to give right. him some protection first. <laughs> okay. So I'm well, gonna I'm gonna be that guy, and I'm gonna I want to bring out one of these um, these S boots. Fantastic. So the turn sequence is essentially if we ignore the first part, which is orphaned torpedoes, because right. there's none of them yet. Sure. It will be allocating your chit to one of your ships. Yeah. And then giving it orders. So what would you like to do? Are you going to move, increase your speed from slow speed? Yeah. Are you going to make any turns? Has it got to be, so is this going to be done in any particular order? So no. is, it, is it movement, then shooting, then yeah. or is, yeah. Yes, it is okay. per boat. So we'll, per boat. We'll, we'll so we're literally on. dealing with the one mm -hmm. boat at a time, as if yeah. it was a unit in bolt action. That's correct. And so, on and so, forth. Great. so this cool. boat, uh, it's already traveling at slow speed, which yeah. on our data cards, they'll tell you what your three speeds are. And so you have to move being 14. at that speed. So, so you've got to move 14. You have to move right. 14. I tell you so what, then. can I move up to combat speed? How fast is my tanker? How have a look on the there. He's a uh, speed of five 15 in his knots. <laughs> right, okay. Your uh, slow speed is 14. Yeah. His fast speed is 15. It's 15, yeah. And my combat speed is 28. Once I'm moving combat speed, have I got to continue to move at combat speed? You can move 
each turn that you allocate a chip, you can go down bit. one yeah. speed or up one speed. I'm going to go all out then. I want to get this guy up a little bit. I'm going to move a combat speed, which so is 20. The enemy have revealed their position. You're going to up your speed. I am, yes. Right, yeah. so this do the first movement, which has to be in the direction you're facing. Yeah. Your first movement of 14 centimetres. And is it from the front of the From the bow, yeah. Yeah, the bow. Yeah. yeah. So you so place your ruler. Yeah. And, and then I'm you move your ship. So my slow 14. speed is 14. Okay, now, when you've moved that first point, yeah. do you want to make a turn? Hmm. Are you going to turn in towards me? Am I, am I, am I this again, forgive me, because you know, naval combat, as I said, yeah. it's not my thing. Am I, am I treating the, the, the ship, a boat, as a tank? Is it weaker on the side than it is? No. It's, there's nothing no, like that. Really? Okay, cool. No. So, uh, yeah, you know what, I think I will move. So what I've got to turn... Now, yeah, you've got a turn of uh, 45 degrees red radius. Yeah. I and mean, these are marked on the ruler. Yeah. And all you do is you pivot from the stern, the rear of the ship, sure. by holding that yeah. and then turning the bow Great. around until you're lined up anywhere up to... Up to 45. So it doesn't have 45. to be the full 45. Not the full 45. Yeah. I'll tell you so what, speed just gonna... has to be at the set rate. Yeah. But the move turn can be any. As long as it's within yeah. your maximum turn. I love how the fact that it's all marked out in the ruler here. So yeah. we've got the yellow for the... Um, the, the tighter turn, the less, uh, the shallower turn would it be? Yeah, shallower and 30 the, degree yeah. turn for the larger ships. Grand. So you're allowed to make a turn yeah. once at the end of each third of movement. Okay. Cool. So you've elected to move up to combat speed, that's yeah. two movements. It means that you'll get to move another 14 centimetres now. Yeah. And then you're allowed to make another turn. Grand. Okay. So I'm going to move this guy up another 14. But I think I'm going to keep his. I'm, I'm going to turn, change his bearing slightly, so I want it on this side, don't I? It's easier, yeah. Yeah, to be able to just pivot him round. Now, of course, he does come with torpedoes, but a torpedo is not going to hurt no, any of my small ships. That's because small the, ships. the draft's too shallow, am I right? That's yeah, right, that's yeah. correct. Yeah, cool. and I'll be moving, so it'll be. So all I'm looking to do is stop you from torpedoing my, my big That's tanker full of fuel here. Now, if you were in range, you would be able to open fire now with any weapons that you can bring to bear. Okay. So when we look at that, we look at whether a weapon is going to fire through the superstructure of sure. the ship. Yeah. Now, that's, of course, both of these rear weapons yeah. won't be able to bring anything to bear. On this front, front one will. Yeah. It's out of range. Uh, it's only got a range of 50 centimetres. Okay. So it's a good, good range. It's a good stuff, range. Yeah. It's a good range for a 20 mil cannon. So, so what's 50 centimetres in inches again? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm trying to work that well, out. <laughs> it's quite simply. Yeah. Yeah, you can check the range of a weapon on the chart that yeah, we have great. there. Yeah. So you've got your MMGs at My 30. MMGs, yeah, 30. Everything. HMGs, 40. 20 mil at 50. 50. Yeah. So you just measure your range, a 50 centimetre range. Just outside. Yeah. Now we like to play that you don't measure until you've said what weapon is shooting course, at what. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But there's no reason why you can't measure. No. And the smaller yeah. arms don't have a minimum range, do no. they? It's only the bigger weapons that have got a minimum yeah. range. Cool. Right, so we're going to pull another chit out the bag. Before I oh, do yes. that, I've got my little wake counter here. So these are cool, I really like yeah. these. Um, and this basically determines the, the wake on the back of the, the ship, doesn't it? Or That's MTB. Correct. Um, and I'm guessing because I've moved to combat speed, I want that line yeah, to so if we just to lift match. the back of the boat up slightly, yeah. and you now have your ship resting, leaving combat speed showing, and that gives you a wake out the back, cool. and it tells you that you, A, you've moved, but also yeah. if you put your chit on, yeah. and B, how fast you're going for sure. the next turn. Of course. Okay, so when you, going, I guess when you're shot at and stuff, how fast you're moving determines how easy it is to shoot. It will determine how easy it is to shoot and whether yeah. you take damage or not. Great. Next cool. dice out the bag is going yeah. to be... You again. Line, okay. I don't know if I want to do anything too similar with this guy because I'll end up blocking my own. Um, yes. I could go. Mm, you know what? They're far be it for me not to be reckless. I'm going to move this guy at full speed. Okay. Uh, well, he's going at slow speed, so he can move up to combat he speed. Can, so you can only jump up one. I only right, jump okay, up that's one. That's okay. I'm going to go combat speed then. Um, and I'm, so I'm moving him 14 first with the option to turn. Yeah, um, but I'm not going to turn because, like I said, I don't want to get too far in front of my uh, my tanker here. I move another 14, and I'm just going to keep him steady away there. Okay. So I put my wake underneath. That's right. And then my chit, so that I know that he's activated. Fantastic. Now again, we know that you're too far away to shoot, so yeah. we'll pop the dice out the bag. Ah, at last, I have a chit. So 
I'm Who's curious how fast these? these guys are in comparison to <laughs> now, mine. Cause I'm, I'm looking at them thinking because they're smaller, they're probably a bit quicker. Yeah. Uh, now, I'm idling here on my diesel engines, nice and silent running, yeah. quietly. But I think I'm going to need to power up. <laughs> this one's going to activate. He's going to move up to slow speed. Okay. Start building his pace. He's got movement of 12. So, so because you're stationary, can you only move up to slow speed? Yeah. Right. So I'm going to move up to my 12. I'm going to slide my marker underneath. And I've only got 20 mils on the front. That's when yeah. you're looking. Uh, so well, I'm so going he's to potentially in range now, then, because that was ju I was only mm, just out of range. Could be, could be. Well, we could see if it's going to make it or not. Yeah, it's worth a, it's worth a shot. And if he is, he's obviously shooting at this one. Yeah, of course. Now we measure from the gun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. And, and he's, he's just on top of the gun there, and he can reach your bridge quite. As happily. long as he can, he to the can nearest reach point. As yeah, long as he can great. reach the nearest point on your ship. Yeah. So I can shoot with that front weapon. Yeah. It's only, although it's got several barrels, it only uses one dice to shoot. Sure, because it's a lighter. It's a single weapon system. Yeah, and a lighter caliber gun, et cetera, in comparison to, say, um, your, your larger. What well, we got, even, if we you going even if you had a twin three inch gun, and stuff. it would still be one dice okay. to shoot because it's a weapon system. Right, I see. Yeah? yeah, but the extra barrel gains you extra damage when it comes to doing any Lovely. damage. Cool. Okay. That's nice. It keeps it nice yeah. and simple, nice and straightforward. Keeps it in, yeah, exactly. And we start with a roll of a basic roll of five. I notice we're rolling D10s as yes, well. Yes, we're using a D10. D10s, yeah. yeah, it gives us a few more options. Cool. So we start with five yeah. and we reduce or add to that depending on what other factors are going on. Yeah. So firstly, am I over half range? We know you are. Long yes. range. Yeah. So that's going to drop me down to three. Oh, so really, so right Long from range. five down yeah. to, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and straight away, I now need a three or less to actually hit you. Yeah, it's always less we're looking always for. Always less. Yeah. Now, I'm moving at slow, so there's actually a little chart over there. If you want to follow down. Yes. Yeah, so if you want to follow down, the to, to hit chart. Here, yeah. We've taken speed. the two off. Now, I'm the shooting boat. Yeah. Okay, so my speed is slow. So speed of shooting vessel, slow, uh, plus one. So, so you're going to go, go back up, up to again. four. Yeah. And then speed of the target, yep. uh, over 24 centimeters. Yes, it is because it is you're 28. 28. So it's minus one again. So back down to three. Target size. So your tiny, regular small. size. So is that small or is no, that large? No, no, neither of those. It's a, you're a medium target. Okay, so I've got tiny, small, and large or bigger. Yeah. So does that make me not? So does, just there's no modifier. No modifier okay, for cool. a regular size MTB. Yeah. Visibility obscured. No. Not none of that. Aware no of smoke yet. in the water or anything. No. <laughs> so I need a three or less to actually hit you. Sure. So I'll roll my dice. I got five. I five. missed. So you missed. Cool. And I, because I've got twenty mil, I put a plume of water near your ship to represent my my missed shot. And this shot. is just even if you fire, as long as it's. As you've long as you've got a big enough weapon, yeah. uh, 20 mil or higher, you'll uh, represent a miss by putting a plume next to the ship that you were shooting Correct. at. Correct, cool. And I'm right, these plumes accrue. Yeah, if you end up with three or four misses, you end up with three or four plumes next to the ship. Sort of as the that trace gives, those. That gives the gunners a bonus to actually course, shoot at you yeah, because yeah. they can see big spouts of water. <laughs> yeah. The target's there, we'll shoot at that. Cool, cool. Great. That's so my that's ship done. Yeah. Next dice out the back. Lovely. So uh, this, I mean, obviously, for, for, for those that don't know, this game's been in the making for, for quite a long time now. Yes, uh, our uh, Warlord Games owner, yeah. uh, John Stallard, our very close. Leader. Yes, very close game to his heart. Yeah. He's been fascinated with the uh, small ships for many years and finally had the opportunity to take some ideas of his, put them down on paper. And myself and Gabriel uh, at Warlord, we spent quite a lot of time with quite <laughs> yeah. a few others as well, play testing and narrowing down the rules and coming up with yeah. what we have today. Well, I yeah. think I joined Warlord just, just nearly two years ago now. And I think yes. if I remember rightly, certainly within the first six months of popping down to the resin room, I remember seeing one 300 boats just oh, yes. cropping There's up here, like there, and everywhere. Ship. Yeah. <laughs> so we've been building up the, the, the yes. range for, for quite a while, haven't yes, we? Yes, we have. Uh, and we'll have uh, six full fleets ready for launch through December Fantastic. and January. So we're going um, British, German, US. And Japanese, Japanese. are the first four fleets okay. this December. Yeah. And then we'll have the Italians and Russians. Fantastic. Early New Year. Brilliant. brilliant. Yes. And the, the amount of ships 
there's got to be at least 30 different class ships in amongst that. Sure, yeah. yeah. And, then, and then obviously for each nation as well on top of that. So. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, you'll have the biggest ship you'll be having is a corvette. Yeah, and that's about 12 inches, am I right? Oh, or, no, that, that, you're that? thinking of the Japanese landing craft that oh, you spotted right, okay. the other day. <laughs> um, the average... Uh, kind of destroyer size, the early destroyers like yeah. Campbelltown. Right. Um, they'll be getting on for 25 centimetres or so okay, long. Lovely. Yeah, so, yeah. so there's yes. some, there are some big boats coming on. Yeah. 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 yeah, lovely. They tend to be targets, scenario driven. Sure. Um, yes. yeah. Because they can be quite overpowering. Yeah. If you take, for example, one of the 1350 scale kits from uh, well known manufacturers out yeah. there, uh, like uh, the Monitor. Yeah. Um, that's got 15 inch guns on it. <laughs> now, of course, in this game, when you're playing in a river, yeah. um, in a fjord, you're not got much room to maneuver, no. which is the typical place to find a monitor. Um, but those guns will outrange everything on the tabletop, and if they hit, you'll, you'll know about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a ton of shell landing on you is going, going to cause a lot of damage. However, it's there is a, a great idea for a scenario. It could be that you've got to get a commando raid landed nearby so yeah. that they can make their paddle their kayaks or they need to actually get across land to destroy stores or, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah yeah we can go to Saint Nazaire yeah. in fact you might very well be seeing that <laughs> as a scenario we've got to early we? in the new yeah, year of course um because we've got the ships yeah yes <laughs> um, and what a fantastic story yeah yeah yeah, uh, and that's what it's all about. So, cool. the next so, yeah. out of the bag. Well, I've got mine here. Yeah, I've got mine. I so think that's fun. down to your tanker. And he's, unfortunately, so this is full speed. Is 15, is 15 centimetres. centimetres. Yes. I'm a bit worried I'm going to leave him behind now. It <laughs> seemed like such a great idea to get him charging out. Um, so he's just going to move his 15. I don't want him to turn. You know, because okay. I don't want to crash into anything else. All righty, um, let's see if we can force him to turn next <laughs> phase. And then full speed, I'm full literally speed, sticking leaving that. a big wake behind yeah. him, so we know he is done. Well, that, of course, is going to leave me two dice in the bag, two chits in the bag. Yeah. So my first chit, um, I think what I'll do is just work them in turn. This one's just going to build up his speed to combat speed. Their combat speed is only 12. Uh, their slow speed is only 12. So I'm going to bring him up to 12. Put his slow speed under him. These, of course, components that we're using cut out printed course, card. Yeah. Prototypes. Uh, prototypes. The cards themselves, they'll be a much higher quality and thicker yeah. as well. A bit like our Blood Red Skies range. Sure. I like how they've got um, uh, like a jigsaw piece to be able to clip the, the rulers together to give you a bit extra yeah. range. And I think there's, there's actually some information on the back of on one of this them as one? well, isn't there? Yeah, yeah which is just to help. Nice. Uh, Help us, we can actually work our oh, way down the turn sequence. The, yeah, okay. And cool. the weaponry, uh, cannon to hit modifiers Lovely. are all here for us as well. Brill. So I'm going to launch the cup up for the torpedoes. No. Now we launch these in pairs and we line them up with the tail of the torpedo marker against the ship. Yeah. Right by the launch tubes. And you don't need to do anything, you just drop, they're just dropping these torpedoes yeah, in the water. That is me firing the torpedoes. Okay. Where the dice roll comes in is to see later on when it comes to hit yeah. whether they're duds. Right. Because they're notoriously fickle weapons. Something that was in something like 80% of torpedoes launched. It was a bit higher than that. Was it yeah. really? During the war, we yeah. just complete duds. Something like 88% were complete wow. duds. Yeah. Um, unless you're Japanese, in which case it's the other way around. <laughs> So right. I've placed my torpedoes so in the I'm water. So I'm trying to distract you about these torpedoes. Yeah, I don't yeah, like I the idea that. that he's coming along um, I can now adjust my torpedoes up to a yellow 30 degree okay, marker that's cool. yeah. from the side of the ship. So it gives you a so little can, bit of extra movement just in yep. case. If so you, I'm going to yeah. anticipate where that ship's going to be. I'm going to make an, a slight adjustment. And that's my first spread of torpedoes. I'm also going to see if I can fire at this ship. That was, that was my next question. You can fire multiple weapon yep. systems. Yep. Yeah, if they lovely. can bring them, be brought to bear, and he is just in range. Cool. So and let's the, see. The crew. So you can have, like, again, you would in, say, bolt action, you've got um, inexperienced regular and veteran soldiers. Yes. You can have different experienced crew, Absolutely. can't you? Absolutely. Um, let's do the shooting. Because I've got a one yeah. at last. <laughs> <laughs> I've hit you. Okay, so regardless of <laughs> what that was going to be, it was... It, it was always going to it, hit it, you. It, yeah. One's always a hit. Yeah, yeah. that's going to cool. hit you. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's not always a hit because you can end up with zeros and minuses and right, okay. that will that negate the roll. Okay, so, right, lovely. Yeah. So I have managed to hit you. Yeah. Now we need to see what damage I do. Yeah. So this is why I need the D6, please. So how many do you need? I need three for a 20 mil cannon. Three for a 20 mil. 
There Luckily, I've got a twin 20 mil, so I need another one. Please. Another one. So when it's a twin, it's just an extra dice. Yeah. And, so on and, so and forth. of course, quad, an extra three. Of course, yeah. So I'll now roll my dice to see what I get. And that was pitiful. And um, we add them up. And I've got a total of 10 points of damage ten. to remove yeah, from your uh, S-boat. OK. That's where we come on to these cards. Yeah. You've got uh, tens and units. So tens I know at the I've bottom, got units at the top. Whole points of 65. Yeah. We're going to call this one um, the, the one further over this side. Yeah. Yes. So, so we remove 10 points of damage. So quite simply, so the slider on the very bottom. From, yeah, down to 55, isn't down it? Down to 55. Me? Yeah. That's it. Now, had I got any sixes in amongst these rolls? That's a critical that hit, isn't it? That would be critical. Critical and damage. We hopefully we should see some of that happen in a <laughs> if little not, bit. If not, I'm sure we can turn one over. Okay, let's move those the out. The are showing the, uh, yeah. the guys at home. What happens when you get a critical? Now, so the, the the unit cards, just to sort of have a little focus on these. Everything you need to know for your for your boat, your ship, MTBs, yep. is all on these cards, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. There's no yeah. real need to then reference back to um, rule the, books no, and so on and so forth. The, the rules have been laid out that once you've played the first round, you'll know how to move, you'll know how to shoot, and it's just remembering the sequence, which is on the back of the ruler. The ruler, yeah. When it comes to what your weapons can do. Cool. Yeah, and they're quite simple. There's yes. there's a Brackets for each weapon yeah. system. When it comes to playing the games, though, um, we've designed it so that you don't need to use points values. You can come up with scenarios and just have a selection of ships Course, yeah, from your yeah. own collection. But we know everybody likes points values yeah. to, to a degree. So part of our game system is that we've created points for each of the ships. Now, you mentioned earlier whether th uh, that we could have um, green, regular, or inexperienced regular sure. and veteran. So when it comes to the points values, you take the whole value of your ship, yeah. add on the weapons points that we've allocated sure. so for each weapon mil system. Would be X amount uh, of points. Yeah, five or ten, sure. depending on the level of uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty points, depending on the level of the size of weapon. Yeah. Um, and then you've got equipment such as smoke, radar, sonar. Fantastic. Um, so fully customizable per, per searchlights. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all those little things that you'd expect to find, key equipment-wise on Lovely. the ship, will be available to you in points. And once you've added all those up, you then add on your crew. So for a standard MTB, a regular crew would be 50 points, and a veteran crew 75. Cool. Your basic ship points that you worked out are your inexperienced crew. So they come with a crew and then you they can always just come with a crew. Yeah, upgrade your yeah, crew. Yeah, they might not be very good. Yeah, that's true. Okay. And of course in a campaign system, you'll find that you can gradually increase the crew skills. So if you start with an experience for everybody in a campaign, yeah. you can gradually build them up and end up with a recognized veteran crew Lovely. with certain specific skills like Jones in the engine room, <laughs> making sure <laughs> yeah. he can tweak that engine for a few more knots really, that's at cool. the right time. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Right. So this one's also moved, but I'm not going to fire his torpedoes yet. And no. I think he's just out of range being a bit further sure. away. Sure, grand. Cool, so that's the end of the that's turn. That's everything done. Yeah. We simply put the chits from each remaining ship back in the bag. Yeah, wake counters obviously stay as they wake are. Wake counters stay as they are. The ships are still moving. Torpedoes are in the water, so they stay where they are. And any plumes then get removed as well. Cool. All right, and we start the next phase. Real. Nice and simply, we'll pull the chits to see who's next. It is going to be me. Okay, who are you going to move first? This is where we get into some interesting action. Yeah, I think I need to return some fire, don't I? I think you do. So I'm moving at combat speed. If Which I wanted to, I could move. I could move flat out, but I think that's probably going to take me too close to going off. Yeah, the, your uh, flat out speed in an S boat is 42 centimeters. It's a bit so too it's much. Quite, quite a powerful, yeah. powerful little boat ship. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to move this. Yeah, I'm going to activate this. Yeah, actually, am I? I want to get this guy around. I'm going to go combat speed. Yep. For this chap. Maintaining your combat speed. Yep. Off you go then. So your first move is 14 in a straight line. And I can't make a turn you before. You can't make a turn I? before. Yeah. Nope. As much as I would like to. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. That's yeah. something that might come in with campaign rules as we progress. Sure. And then I get to pivot him. Pivot from the rear. From the rear. Down up yeah. to 45. Now you're maintaining combat speed, so you now have to do another 14. Another 14, lovely. And it's always a full 14, It's always it? a full. So, so the way to work out full. your speed is yeah. look at a ship's uh, maximum speed. Yeah. Divide it by three, rounding up. And that's your each third of movement that you get. OK. Yeah. Cool. So my movement of uh, my full speed movement on my Vosper of 39 becomes 26 and 13. Cool. Yeah. 
Right. What have I got on the front of this guy then? So he's got, has he got 20 mil as well? Has he? Yeah. yeah, he's got 20 mil on the front. Yeah. And he probably can't bring anything else to bear unless no. you do a pivot at the end of that move. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. So you've got a 20 mil. How far can those torpedoes move? <laughs> You'll find out in a minute. Yeah, I'm going to find <laughs> out, aren't I? Right, I can't shoot torpedoes. <laughs> no, you can't shoot torpedoes okay. in the water, no. So I know, right, so I'm, I'm within, what's yep. my range from the front there? I'm actually, yeah, I know, so I'm still long range. So 40, still long range. 43. Yep. Um, but I tell you what, though, I want to try and have a shot at this guy. Okay. If I can stop him from shooting those torpedoes yep. this turn, that'll be great. Okay, so you're over half range, so you go from five to three. Yeah. There's nothing for crew. No. You're firing at a slow vessel. Yeah. So that plus takes plus you one. back to four. You're firing at a small vessel, which takes you to three. Yeah. And that should be it. Cool. So I need a three or less. Three or less to hit. And he can five. And he misses. Never mind. Never so we've mind. Got a plume. Cool. Spouts in the water nearby. Ah, oh, it's not what I wanted. Now, of course, I can't help but use the one who's launched his torpedoes <laughs> first <laughs> because course. nothing better than seeing the torpedoes yeah. shoot away. Now the torpedoes themselves they move before anything else happens. So it's as soon it's as when I you put activate my that, yeah. activation on that ship the torpedoes move. So I'll need the tape measure for this one. Now each torpedo moves 40 centimeters, 40 knots. So we've got the first torpedo is going to travel in that direction, the full 40. Yeah. And the second one Again, measuring from the front. Yeah. So those are my two torpedoes in the water. Right, okay. Now I can move my ship. So I'm going to move up to combat speed with him. And I think a good place to be would be somewhere in between those two to see what happens next. So I'll make that move. We'll do a quick turn. So these guys have got a 45 as well, have they? Yeah. Yeah. yeah but I'm not going to move the full 45. And then I'll go and move another 12. And then... So that's my combat speed. Yeah. And this, so this guy's just got the torpedoes and his 20 mil, yeah? Yes. But he's got four torpedoes. Oh, he's got a machine gun on the back. Okay, yeah. cool. Every machine gun's... We can't model necessarily because yeah, what you have to scale. imagine is a Vickers K or something like that sure, mounted yeah. on the top of a torpedo rack and a guy at the back <laughs> yeah, opening course. fire. Good old Vickers. Um, so you've got the guy there on the back who can open fire with his HMG and you've got the 20 mil. So we can split fire. I'm going to fire yeah. 20 mil here, yeah. HMG there because he can't fire that way. Sure. All righty. So opening fire with the HMG. Am I in range, which is 40? He's long range at a ship that's moving at combat speed. Yeah. So we'll work our way down. Cool, so we've got, he's within range. Is he within half range, did you say? Yeah, yeah. over half range. Over half range. So that's down to three. Yeah. Then we're going, so your, so the sh speed of the shooting vessel, so you're yep. just at, so there's no modifiers. No, no modifier speed, for me. Which makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I'm at combat speed, so there's no modifier. Uh, but oh no, but I've moved over but you're, 24. You're moving sure. over 24 centimeters. Yeah, yeah. Makes you a bit harder to hit. Sure. So that takes me down to two. Can I hit you? No. Um, Big miss. Uh, that was an HMG, so it doesn't cause a plume. No, but then you've got 20 the one mil on the front, front here, yeah. which is close range, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah I would, I would say around. so. Yeah. Under 25, yeah, so half range. So again. What's class as point blank then, out of curiosity? Well, each weapon has a minimum sort of range. If you're saying point blank is, and your minimum range is five centimetres. Sure. Yeah, because you can't depress the weapon enough. Yeah. Then between five and ten centimetres is point blank. Okay. So I'm not quite there yet. No. And that's a definite miss as well. <laughs> I can <laughs> right. live with these misses. So, so those torpedoes I'm worried about. Yeah, next one out the bag. So that's mine all finished. It's another one of yours as well. Excellent. That's not what we want. Come on, guys, uh, let's get some initiative. This back. one's going to come up to combat speed and. We're not allowed to fire torpedoes at fast speed, so I'm going to have to get rid of them very shortly. Let's do this probably here. So he'll come along in a straight line to here. He'll make his turn inward slightly and do another... Oh, the wrong way around, but that. That's his combat speed. And cool. he's going to launch 
His oh, torpedoes. No. So you can launch them at combat speed, did you say, but nothing? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and his 20 mil will fire at him. Yeah. HMG can't fire through the superstructure or through another ship. Of course, I'm yeah. Scared. Uh, don't want to shoot up my own ships. Is there a minimum distance past a ship to be able to shoot? No. No, no. just as, as long, long as, as you can draw a line. Sight. Best Great. thing to do, get down table level. Yeah, of course. Have a good look. It makes a whole different game when you're looking for yeah, that level. Yeah. And we roll the dice to see if we can hit. Unfortunately, that's a miss as well. And of course, we put another plume nearby. Making it, yeah, so we're getting to a point Now, we're starting to get to a point here where one more plume, and I gain a bonus to actually sure. hit you, because there's so much water going off, yeah, spouts, yeah, that's yeah. an obvious and that's, target. I suppose that's why it helps to bring your, your, your full ship side to bear, because then yeah. you, can, you can generally level quite a few weapons. Yeah, it's a, for a full broadside. Yeah. If you, even if you do miss, there's a bonus that one of your other fleet ships might be able to take advantage of that. Of course, yeah, yeah. Cool, right. And next one out the bag, please. It's your last one. Okay. Well, give me a chance to be a little bit reactive, at least. Yeah. And again, I'm going to come up to combat speed. So I'll just move him along quite nicely. And I think I'm going to go same again. There's a big rock there. So I I think what I like I'm about the, um, the core set is it's absolutely packed full of stuff, isn't it? So we've, got, um, we've got two early and two late Bospers. Yeah, the, the great thing about the plastic frame that we've been able to make for these is the Vospers themselves come as an early mark and a later mark. Cool. So you'll have essentially three of each. Lovely. Um, of course, the early mark only has two torpedoes. Yes. Yeah. And it only has a twin heavy machine gun in a tub at the back. Yeah. But you could potentially upgrade that through the war, and it comes with an upgrade 20 mil cannon to mount on the front. Okay, cool. Uh, if you wish. Yeah. Uh, then you move into the late war uh, period, sort of mid late, and you end up with the Mark II Vospa yeah. with four Extra torpedo torpedoes. tubes, a twin all looking <laughs> yeah. on the front, and a heavy machine yeah. gun at the Better back. Better chances for them yeah. not to be duds. Yeah. And of course, every ship, no matter what class, will always come with a machine gun in the bridge house. Okay, of course. Yeah. Yeah, to yeah. represent that close up cool. combat. So you're getting those for the Vospas, and you're going to get. Um, armoured and unarmoured, am I right, um, Schnell boots? The yeah, S100s? the Schnell boots come with yeah. a slightly earlier S38. Right. Yeah, so they're very similar in design. The yeah. only real difference is the S100 comes with an armoured uh, bridge. Bridge, yes, so, sure. Yeah, it can ignore some of the damage on the old uh, um, uh, critical table. Yeah. This one's going to open fire. You can bring the machine gun to bear across the bow. Yeah. Uh, both, well, that might be short range. We'll have a quick look. Short range for that. So red for the 20 mil on the front. Yeah. And they both miss. <laughs> That's all right by me. So it's typical bouncing through the waves. And in the, so in the, in the core set as well, we're getting enough chit, so you're going to get um, your, your, right, your, one. your dice to mark yeah. the... Um, dice to be able to mark out the, 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 the who's activated and stuff. Yeah. All these rulers, but there's also some punch-out scenery and stuff as well, isn't there? there? Yes, absolutely. You come with the lighthouse, and if you flip that lighthouse over... You'll notice that no, it's a destroyed destroy lighthouse. lighthouse. Yeah, very well. really cool. Yeah. Uh, of course, you can replace these with resin oh, models. Yeah, of absolutely. Or well, make your got own terrain. Oh, and of no, course, you've got Mediterranean yeah, islands say, on the rear of one. Right, so it's me now. Last I've one. got two dice to yeah. uh, to go with. I think. Mm -hmm. um, I'm curious about this. So um, first things first. I'm going to move this guy, yeah. and I, I, I get the impression I'm, I'm probably going to hit this wake here. So I've got... You're a bigger ship, so it won't matter. Will it not? So no. we've got 15 centimetres. I'm just going to be touching this wake. That's fine. Is that okay? Yeah, the only problems with crossing wakes come if you're a smaller boat compared to uh, the sure, ship causing right. the wake. Cool. Now, I've got a turn, haven't I, with that full speed. Have I got a turn with this guy? He's got 30 You could degrees. turn at each third. So every five centimetres, you could make a 30-degree turn. I could. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be really reckless because when I activate this guy, he's going to um, he's going to take these torpedoes for that tanker because we really want to get this. That would out. be great, <laughs> but he's got such a shallow draft that they'll go straight oh, underneath no, him. They <laughs> okay. The only uh, sh the only ships that the torpedoes can actually do damage to tend to be large or huge ships. Sure, sure. Which so of course the tanker your is. Your objectives <laughs> and things like that. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to suffer these torpedoes and hope for the best. I think. Yeah. Okay. So, um, One of the great tactics that uh, ship commanders used was to turn in towards torpedoes right. so that they go down either side. A smaller, yeah. yeah so if course. you can spot them early enough, 
you might be able to make a turn. So I think I'll take, I will take start one. Start making turns in. I will take one turn off the back of this now. Um, mm -hmm. You've pointed that out to me. So this guy's just going to take his thirty degrees, and at least one of them's going to miss him. Then I was hoping to just make a beeline for the the board edge, though. You'd forced me to move. So by getting those torpedoes in the water early, yes. Yeah. No, it makes sense because now they're, they're almost like um, uh, a moving object, like a moving sort of objective yeah. T. Start having to think a little bit further ahead yeah. as you get used to the game. Uh, right, okay, so this chap then, yep. um, he's going to continue at his combat speed. Or, yes, he is going to continue at combat speed. I'm just going to move that plume the other side there. Uh, so he's got 14. Yep. Um, and then from there, I'm going to make a turn. Yeah, if you turn between them. Uh, you'll get a lovely broadside. So I just want to swivel this guy <laughs> up and kind of over that yep. template there, but I know I'm going to have to come past. Um, and then I've got another 14 to move just to take him to there, yeah? Yep. Um, slide my wake underneath. And I'm combat speed still. If, well, I'm taking the wake doesn't affect torpedoes no, or anything right. like that. No, this is my wishful thinking. And I've got a load of guns I can bring to bear now, haven't I? Now you have. Right, okay. I suspect my uh, little torpedo boat here is going to get the full vol volley. Uh, I think he's going to have to, yeah. So designate all three weapons and where they're going to shoot. Okay, so all three weapons are going to shoot at this chap. Fantastic. Yeah. So if you work your way down the range, um, you've got, say, 37mm cannon at the back, yeah. semi-auto. You've got the uh, twin... 20 mil and a single 20 mil. Cool. Can I shoot them separately? So we go through that one at a time. So yep. I've got this guy at the back, which They're is all going the... to have the same effect. Yeah. So you're shooting close range. Yeah. Uh, possibly point blank if you look at the weapon range. So point blank, so weapon range on the rear gun, which was the twin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yep. If you look up on the top chart. Twin, 20 mil, 0 to 50. Right, so that's over five then you're not. What about the 37, though? Uh, the 37, 5 to 70. Right, 37 is in point blank for the 37, and you're not quite in point blank for, for the, the 220s. Two. Cool, so we'll do the 37 first, then. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got point blank, because it takes my 5 to a plus 2. Yeah. So that puts me on a 7. Um, I'm moving at combat speed. Uh, I've not moved over 30, so that's OK. So there's no modifiers there. You've not moved over 24? I have, have moved, moved at 26, yes. At 26, so minus one, so it takes me down to a six. And I'm small. And you're small, so that's taking me down, one more back down to a five. So a five five's or good less. Though. Yeah, I can manage a five. Come on, Charlie. Yay! Yes, that's definitely that hit. Do. And then if you roll for the other two weapons to yep. see if they hit as well, you might as well roll both. So both at the same time. And they're both the same type, so the, it doesn't matter. I say they're both the same gun, aren't they? Uh, but one's blue, a twin. If the blue one's the twin. Blue one's a twin, red one's the other one. Um, and these are going to be fours to hit, aren't yes, they? Yes, they are. Because I've not got the, um, the benefit of being close range. So one hit. So that was the smaller yep. one. So we've got one miss. And it was the twin that hit, it was, was it? Twin? No, it was the um, single. It was a single that hit. Right, so, so you'll get... 37 mil has a set amount of dice. 37 doesn't yeah. tell me on here. Right, so if you turn the page over, yeah. you've got your weapon chart. Yes, 37 mil 37. gives you... 4d6. And the single 20... Is 3, yeah? Yeah, cool. so there you go. Come so on, we might as well roll sixes. all the damage together. Nothing yeah. like rolling a big pile of dice. And we add the totals no, up. So no sixes. No sixes, so there's no so critical. 10, 13, 14, 17. 17, so that's my middle one. And I'll remove 17 from this. It only has 42. Oh, it feels good to get some shots off there. <laughs> Cause some damage. Okay. So we'll drop that one down. Was that 17, yeah? Yeah. Uh, five, so that'll be down to 25 points Ooh, of fantastic. damage left cool. on that ship. And that's it again, isn't it, for the turn? And that's it for the turn. So we'll game. We'll move Lovely. the chips away. Yeah. Pull the plumes in. So the plumes always go away at the end of the yeah, turn. Yeah, we'll remove the plumes now. We'll take these chips yeah. off. Cool. Okay. So, so we're going to some top round three. Now, aren't we? Here we go. Go on, I'll let you do it. It's, it's probably going to be one of Who's yours. Who's it going to be? And it's oh, you. It's right, Chance okay. to escape. Chance to escape. Now I'm wishing I hadn't turned. <laughs> yeah, because you're going around your own ship now. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to move him out of the way first. Then, well, he's so. going to have to move five centimeters before. forwards before you can make another turn. I'm going to move. Oh, this guy's going to move forward. So I've got, I've got to move this guy first, then, haven't I? Um, but I can throttle back to slow speed now, can't I? You could. Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's have a little look then. So let's say I want to move him forward. You might have to do this for me. Okay, Rich. I can do that. Um, what I've got to move him forward is 14. You have to move his 14. But let's get a turn on him. Which way would you like to turn? I want to go that way. Okay, so we can do that. We'll just measure him up. Yeah. Spin him in. That'll do, yeah. Yeah. And then do I want to maintain combat speed? Yes, I do. Okay. I, should, I could bring everything to bear on him right now, couldn't I? Yes, you can. In fact, you could split your shooting and do your shooting here and then finish your move. Oh, can you? At the end of your th each third of movement, you can elect to okay. open fire at that point. Let's do that then. Let's do some shooting now. Yeah. So we'll leave his wake there that we're going at combat speed. Yeah. So remembering that you're going at combat speed, yeah. you're at point blank range with all your weapons, depending so on who blank. you fire at. Who are you going to fire at with what? I've not moved too fast, but you're still count, you still count, you count as moving. You count your full combat speed move. Okay. So you're at point blank with the 20. Uh, this 20 probably can't fire that way, but it can fire that way. So you've got two weapons that are point blank, one here, one in here. Okay, yeah. And a long range, uh, normal under half range. Right, so let's do the there. point, so let's do the two shots on this one with the point blank and, and the, the normal, normal range. So, so point, point blank is going to be red, so that's okay. my 37. Um, so point blank, uh, it takes my five to a seven. Um, then, so I've moved, I'm within movement, no, so yep. no, no modifiers there, but you've moved, so that yep. takes me down to a six. Yes. And you're small, so back down to a five. five. Yeah. Um, so five on both. The 37 Definitely hits, hit. the other one misses. So we get misses. a 20 mil splish yeah. and a 37. Now, because it's on that ship, we roll the damage separately. So 4d6. 4d6 for that So this one. is the one that's already taken damage. Yeah. Let's have some sixes. Uh, oh, oh, no yeah. sixes. However, 11. another 11. So we're down to... It's got to be down into the team. 14. Though, Excellent. Down to 14 on that one, which means it's about time we had some black smoke on here. We'll, we'll issue him some black smoke because it looks cool. And that's just to say that he's 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 flagging. taking yeah, some serious damage. He's, he's under half damage. Sure. He's taking some damage. In and campaign rules, you can add extras like reducing your your um, to hits because you're under half damage. You, sure. you, know, you could do um, slower speeds, not allowed to draw, uh, go around at, at full yeah. speed because you've taken damage, that sort of thing, cool. if you wanted to. Sure. Not in the basic game. Right, <laughs> okay. so Last I've still weapon. got my 20 mil to go. Um, that's going to be point blank again, yep. so five or less. No, no. nothing. Nothing. But I do get a, a nice uh, plume there. Nice plume there. Was, was that one now from before? No, no, that's, that's all from, that's from him. From, okay. uh, yeah, from him. So, yeah. So, we'll go another 14 yeah. to finish your move. Do you want to make a turn? I do want to make a little turn now, I think, just to make sure I'm not going to... Because um, what happens if I leave the, the, the plane? Then area? you're basically leaving You're the, leaving the game, yeah. yeah. So, I, don't, I definitely don't want so to do that. So, how far would you like to move? Um, is that wake going to affect me? No. No, then I'm all right on the wake. Yeah. And then there's a little uh, chit to say that he's activated. There you go. Right. It's me again. I have to move the other MTB. Right, where would you like to go? Hmm. I'm going to end up here to begin with. I'm going to go combat speed again. Yeah. I definitely want to turn. I want to go between these two, uh, these two boats. Okay. I'm leaving my poor tanker all by himself now. Uh, and then, yeah, another 14 for me. And I'm going to bring it all to bear on. Actually, am I, can, I, can I split my fire? Can I, can I choose per weapon? Um, or have um, I got to declare? This is, this is where you declare your weapons. All at once. All okay. at once. Who's shooting where? And so I'll have the twin and the single one, um, the, the centre gun on this MTB, and then the other one um, on the chap to the, uh, to the okay. right there. Okay, so um, it's going to be fives again, isn't it? Because I'm point blank. Which one's going to be the. Uh, the red for the 37 and yeah. the blue for the 29. That's actually a quad 20. <laughs> oh, this one is a bigger <laughs> one, is it? Right, okay. You're all at point blank. Okay. So quad 20 for the red. Both have hit. Both have hit? Because you're at point blank. Oh, I was fives, I think, for point blank, because you're still uh, tiny and okay, you moved. Yep. So that's definitely a miss. Um, uh, I'm only small, but yeah. Quad hits. Small, sorry, yeah. Small, but so small still needs to be down one. So a quad is 3d6 yep. for a 20, plus 3d6, one for each barrel. Oh, wow. Extra. Barrel. For each extra barrel, I've got you. So a twin being three normally plus one. And yep. Yeah, great. This should be enough to get rid of it, then, surely. Oh, I think there's a oh, good possibility. Oh, oh, there's all my sixes as well. And all the sixes. Well, <laughs> well that's without doubt. Yeah. He is definitely sunk. Sunk, yeah. Which Excellent. means 
good picking on him. We take a chit out the back. That's yeah. your victory point there. Lovely, I can live and with I'll that. And I'll remove my little chip here onto his card so I know which one's taking the damage. And for me, that means there's two less torpedoes to, to come out, isn't there? Because he, they were carrying Yeah, he had another each. pair of torpedoes yeah. waiting in the tubes. I, I'm not, I can't quite breathe this sigh of relief yet, but I'm feeling a little bit buoyed by that. Yeah, well, that's good shooting. No, no pun intended. No, no. Um, <laughs> now, had those sixes... Uh, not sunk my ship yeah. with, with the total damage, sure. then you've got the opportunity to roll for critical damage on a special table. And is that for every six rolls? For every single six that's wow. rolled. So I yeah. could have got three, potentially three critical. Potentially three critical hits. Yeah. So you would roll a d10 on a table of 10 items, yeah. which is on the chart um, underneath. Under this one, yeah. yeah. So for example, we could roll just the two just to see, and that would be a nine and a 10. So if you'd like to read out 9 and 10. 9 and 10, extra damage to structure and torpedo hit. Yeah, now I am carrying torpedo, or was wow. carrying torpedo, so that would be an effect. If at all <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> carrying torpedoes, then it moves up one. And I've, I've just read that out there. So I've rolled a d6 on a 5 plus. Um, the torpedo cooks off and the boat immediately suffers 8d6 damage. Wow. Yes. So it's, it's quite dangerous carrying those torpedoes around the net. Uh, yes. Yeah. yes. It's great that they're, they, they can sink a, a ship. but Might sink your own. The, yeah, yeah, they could sink your own as well, especially when they're, they're not quite, what is it, 42 hit points? Yes. Full points on yep. those, um, those Vospers. Yes. Great. Cool. Very exciting. Now that's going to be interesting because we can uh, see what happens to our orphaned torpedoes. Now, of Indeed. course. So they'll carry on, though, because they, they've been they loose, haven't they? So it doesn't they're, matter yeah, now, yeah. even though that ship's gone. Yeah. Your 20 um, mil on the front ooh, still needs to fire? I mean, you, you, you could have let me I go then, because I, uh, I would have left that. So I don't think, I'm not close range for this one, am I? I'm just outside of five Just outside five centimetres. So it's going to be a four Balls or to hit me? No, not this Now, time. if you were slower, then that would obviously still be a six, a Six, sure, yeah. yeah. So um, you've missed. So I've missed. Stick a plume on. Um, and then both your ships here have, have done gone. their task. And it's my last one, unfortunately. Well, can you make an escape through these torpedoes? I probably could, I think. So you have to move five, five centimeters groups. Let's try it. Let's so you move five, turn, move yeah. five and turn, move five let's and steal turn. steal one of those. And then let's move five centimeters to there. Yeah, I should be able to get through here, shouldn't I? 30 degree turn. Ooh, let's have it this side. Of course, if you run into one, it's going to go boom. <laughs> Will it? Okay. Well, I think that's about 30 degrees there. Okay. Uh, and then I've got another five. Yeah. Which I've got to move. Oh, he's going to get through. I'm just going to get through As there. He, oh. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to turn again. <laughs> I'm just going to take him straight through. I might take a tiny little turn just to bring me there. Um, and then I'm going to sneak through. Well done. Well, that captain's got away with it, hasn't, hasn't he? Just, hasn't he just? So that's full that's speed. Full speed he's managed his turns. Yeah. And he's got his little token there. So we know the wow. next two dice are yours. You were lucky getting all your dice out of the bag, I all your chits I'm, before me, I weren't you? Like it's, I still feel like it's a bit of a sitting duck, though, because you've not just got torpedoes, you've got other things you can... Um, I have indeed. And I this guy's indeed. getting close. He's still got all four. <laughs> he has. How many torpedoes can you fire in a turn? Can you two. Just two. Unless, of course, you're veteran, and then you can change. You can, okay, yeah. cool. Right. So I've shown my lack of knowledge here as well. So um, what do we call a collective of... So the, your three Vospers there, what would a be the... A little flotilla. A little flotilla. So yes. your flotilla then, so it, I suppose to a degree it makes sense to try and, as you've done, force me to come in a, in a particular direction and then try and close as much as you can, which is going on here, um, to then be able to drop those torpedoes from as close a range as possible. Yeah. So what I've done there is cruise around the yeah. rocks. And of course, naturally speaking, I'd want to put torpedoes in the water. I haven't brought enough with me today. Um, so let's imagine there's a pair of torpedoes. Well, we know these ones are these just are going, going to, to come miss. past here. So, so we'll, let's use these torpedoes. We'll use these ones. And I'm right in the, um, in the call box. There's a sprue of torpedoes. There's a torpedoes. whole frame okay, full of torpedoes. Do we know how many's on there? Not Is entirely sure, no. but about I'm 16. I'm sure when I saw it, there's, there's a good sort of at least 12 or so. Or so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, cool. So he has cruised round. Yeah to make his turn and drop those torpedoes in the water. Lovely. Now, a torpedo has to travel 15 centimetres to arm. Right, OK. So there's a possibility, by the time it comes round, that I might not even hit you um, because they won't arm in time. Uh, sure. 
and they've got they've got a yellow, haven't they? So they can literally be dropped and come out from there, even on an even steeper angle than that, couldn't they? No, that, that's about that's about right, is it? Yeah, that's easing it from that one. Cool. I can't get round on that one, but we'll see. Yeah. Well, and of course, they're not going to move to our next. I was going to say, if he activates first, though, then yes, you've kind of given yourself options there, haven't you? Which is good. Twenty mil. That's a large target. Ooh, it's definitely a hit. That's definitely a hit. Definitely yeah. a hit. And of course, if I can have Three 46, dice, 46. Four, it's a twin. It will open fire. How much damage will the shooting cause? Oh, there's a critical in there. There though. is indeed. So that's so, 410. Oh, it's the first time he's been hit as well. So, so he's going down to 75 from 85. 85 to 75 and a D10 for the critical hit, yeah. which is five. Would you like to read off so those five? So the five, is? gun hit. Pick There's the closest no weapon position, no, of course not. So is that just, if, it's, if it can't At the be, bottom of that, it would say what it goes to. A crew hit. So no shooting this activation. So I'm guessing um, place a crew hit token on the ship, remove it. Um, at the next activation, before, before performing any action, a skill test must be passed um, to, or, to give any orders. So does that mean... If you want to, before you can... Say I'm going to t make turns right. or change my speed. You've got to pass the skill test, or I've got to move in a straight line, or you just carry on doing what you were doing last turn. <laughs> right, great. Yeah, cool. So the token. So we know he's got a, yeah. We know he's got a crew hit. Yeah, lovely. Which could work out quite well for me with that torpedo in the water yeah, already. Especially, However, yeah. My last little ship has got his token out the bag. Yeah. So before I do anything, I'll move the torpedoes. Sure. That are already launched. I'm feeling okay about that one as well. I'm feeling are okay. Are you sure? Well, this yeah. one's gone. Yeah. So we can ignore that one. Yeah. Just as we would have ignored those. Yeah, sure. If there was a potential for those to hit. Something else. Then at the start of the next phase, yeah. they would move Just keep independently as orphaned torpedoes. Yeah, lovely. We could remove those because they're not going to hit. This one, however. And when you get to bigger games and stuff, you're probably going to have a table full of torpedoes. Potentially. It might be a good idea to make a little uh, mark on the head of the torpedo which ship it came from. <laughs> um, well, he's definitely hit in a straight line there. Is he? Oh, no. Con contact there. Okay. Might be a glancing hit, so it might be a dud. Before we do anything else, yeah. unlike shooting, which is a base of five, a torpedo has a base of four. Okay. I've got to see if I hit. Right. And we'll use a torpedo hey, chart. So there's a torpedo chart. Yeah. Uh, on the, yeah, you're, you've got it just on the bottom there. Torpedo hit table. Yeah. Tiny, small or barge? Large. No. Uh, so it's large plus two. Goes to six. Uh, target speed, 15 to 30, minus one. Uh, but it's more than 15. There's a little more than. Okay, yeah, yeah, over yeah. 15, but less than 30. So no, no modifier there. Okay, and then final, uh, final is, is the crew. So um, I'm a regular your crew. crew, yeah, the firing crew. I like how it says firing crew, um, shooting boat speed, yeah. and so on and so forth. So, you know the so with torpedoes, you have to remember that, as we said already, they're quite a finicky yeah. piece of ordnance. You've got to look after them correctly. As a crew, a regular crew, you should be okay. Might, might be a dud, but effectively, a lot of the time when the firing button was pressed, they didn't go, yeah. they didn't leave the tube. Well, I've got a roll to hit. how choppy the seas are and yeah, all sorts, isn't it? Yeah. Potentially, how deep did that torpedo end up going? So, in that case, I've missed. Really? Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's fortunate for me. <laughs> fortunate for you. Yeah. Now, had that hit, I may have got a dud and I would have had to roll to see if it was a dud as sure, well. Sure, yeah, of course. However, had I hit, and it wasn't a dud, that would have been 16 D6 of, yeah, worth it's of damage on the Devastating your container. amount of damage from yeah. a torpedo, doesn't it? All right. right. Cool. Now I'll carry on moving. And I think it's a little bit close to slow down to, to slow speed, but that might be worth it. I'm going to slow down to slow speed. Sure. So just move Put your myself to there. 12. And I think I'll stay in that position. And my wake doesn't affect your... No, because I've not gone over it. It's so. only if you're fully sort of mm -hmm. going over those wakes. Now, of course, I'm away from these, so they can come off. Yeah. We can keep things tidy as we go. And I'll open fire with the Orlikans and the HMG. Sure. So Orlikans are the blue. Large target. Well, they both hit. Yeah. HMG on that one is 2d6. That's five, seven, seven damage. So that's my middle one, isn't and it? And the twin Orlikans on the front. Oh, I've got another... 15 
on the container ship oh, no. and a result of seven. Oh, and a critical, right. Okay, on so the critical. Got the, uh, the 15 out, so that's going to take me down to 60. Uh, and then what was the critical, sorry? A seven. Seven. Where's my critical table gone? Here it is. Accessory hit. Um, I'm, not, I'm guessing I've got no accessories, right. so it's radar, radio, all that sort of stuff. Yes. So it's another crew hit, which means, um, can you stack multiple crew no. hits? No, no, so the crew's just still taking that bit of a battering. Yeah, uh, I've got the op opportunity perhaps to, with, depending on what you hit, to add more damage with sure. extra D6. But not in this case. Chit's in the bag, because we've done everything. Oh, that was, so sorry, that was a crew hit on this. Was yeah. that on this one or the container? On the, the container. On the container. Right. already okay. had his. Yeah, sure. So the remaining chits go yeah. back in the bag, and then you can do the honours with the first one out of the bag, what we're going to I'm have. Not sure, I'm not sure I know what I want <laughs> <laughs> this time uh, round. Yes. It's one of mine. Um, I don't want to move him yet, because I know I've got to make that test, and if I fail it, he's going to pile straight into my um, S boot there. So um, I'm going to move this guy first. Right, um, would you like me to? Yeah, please. Yeah. Move Where would you like to Combat move? speed, and I want to bring him back this way, so back to towards you. me. Yeah. So he'll move his 14. Oh. We'll then adjust him. 14. Yeah. No, and that. do you want to make a turn there? Um, yeah, go on, I best do. Just don't want to be um, moving too far away from the fight. So you're swung him round, back in towards the combat, giving you an opportunity to open fire with all your weapons. So my quads on this guy. Mm -hmm. Yep. So these are going to go back up again now. I've, I've enjoyed the benefit of being in close before. Now um, you're back to long range. Yeah. Where have I got the sheet? So five to three. Five to threes. You're small. It's going to be twos, isn't it? At best, I think. Um, so fives down to threes. Uh, I've moved, that's okay. You're still moving. I'm slow. You're slow now. So that's now. four, so nothing but there. three because I'm small. Yeah, okay, lovely. So threes on mm -hmm. that, um, that quad, no. Uh, and then the rest, actually, no, the, the center can yeah. have a go. Um, so that's going to be the same again, isn't it? So yes. threes, no. no. So that's two, lots of splishies. Don't and then. Size. On the front here, so that one. he's moving a bit faster. It's going to be twos, isn't it, to yes. hit this guy? No. Um, Lots of shooting, no hits, no just hits. as you'd expect. Remembering it's dark, the wind's whistling through course, the yeah, yard arms. moving fast. Well, I've just had to come right round. Spray as well, I? Yeah. coming up and over the ship as it turns across the waves into the wind. Waves bouncing over the floor. And my objective is to just to get this tanker off. You've got to well, get him it? off the getting distracted table. by um, shooting your... Pesky little Vospers. Right, so I want to try and make a test with this. Um, yep. Make a, yeah, an order Skill check this guy. is your level of skill, which okay. is inexperienced. Sure. And a D6. Right. So on a roll of a six, you're going to pass. Oh, wow. Yes. The better the crew, the better the That's check. Right. <laughs> I'm not liking these odds. No. 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 So he just carries on full speed, 15 yeah. centimetres forward. And then after, after doing that, you'll take his crew hit token off. It does come off after that. Okay. Yes. That's fortunate. Um, so he's just going to move his full speed. That's it. Fortunately, away from those uh, those torpedoes. Yeah. Uh, and then that crew stunned, or crew hit comes off. Lovely. Yeah. Great. Next chit out the bag is finally mine, and we'll see if those miss or not. And I think they. I is that one's close, isn't it? Oh, just. No, it's a miss. Yeah, just. So we'll away. remove those. Yeah. As both of those were moved 40, maybe over here. I'm, I'm amazed how well this, um, <laughs> this big this merchant tanker, tanker crew tanker is avoiding Bit of luck. Torpedoes. Bit of luck involved in there. Which means I'm going to gun you down. Of course. Um, I think the easiest thing to do would be to maintain my combat speed. Yeah. And we'll come through at. Oh, we'll make a turn. Turn to avoid that wake, I assume. Are you, going to, are you going over the wake? I'm going to risk going over the wake and losing a bit of control. Okay. Come across the back. So as I go over, I'm back there. Yeah. Skill check. Failed. So what so happens then? So you've hit my wake now, because you're a smaller boat than mine. Yeah. It affects you. One, two, left, five, six, right. Yeah. Yeah. Three, four, dead in the middle. Straight ahead. That's good. Okay. So I'm going to keep myself nice pointed that way. Nice and straightforward then, that, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, keep myself pointed that way. 
um, also reduces my ability to shoot. But I'm at point back range, so that shouldn't be a too much of an no, issue. No, no, yeah. All right. So we had point blank. So it's going from fives up to sevens. Um, it's a large target. Yeah, it's not moved very fast. Um, so it's going to be sevens to hit. Yep. Oh, no. If I could have the two D10, you we'll can roll indeed. those. Uh, the blue one can be the machine gun at the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which won't not, do a lot of damage. Not the way around you wanted it. But not I, the way it's around. It's still a machine gun. It's, you know, and it still does enough to eight, damage, eight damage, but it doesn't cause any criticals. Okay, so. Although I've got a six, it won't cause uh, any criticals. So uh, HMG, in, ah, so small no. arms can't cause criticals. Nah, they're not going to cause a critical on that. That puts me on 52, though. So this thing's taking a bit of a battering now, from yeah. down from 85. Now, of course, I have got my guys in the in the uh, bridge. They can open fire with their machine gun, slash grenades, can, slash yes. pistols, yeah, yeah. etc. Is this because you are point blank? Oh, as yeah, as close as you are. <laughs> because it's as close as I am. Yeah, yeah. And, of course, I've just hit you. <laughs> can I get anything? Another five, five damage. Another five will do. Any damage I can put on you, the better. Yeah, put me on 47. Next chit out the bag. Half, half my uh, is mine. points I've lost now. And I think... You need to speed up a little bit. I need you? to speed up to get past <laughs> yeah. you um, and get some turns in. So I'm going to go up to combat speed. So whilst you do that, turns. if you could explain to mm. me at the same time, what happens if you do collide? There's a collision table okay. where you take turns. So the first ship becomes the attacker, the yeah. rammer, yeah. Uh, and the other the defender. Um, and you look at your size comparison right. and work out what your damage is going to be. Of course. And then you swap. Right. Yeah. And, and so if you collide with your own ship, you're doing this yeah, to yourself. Yeah, I can do this to myself. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, of course, if you go back to uh, ooh, any, anywhere like uh, the Persian armies fighting uh, in the seas off of Greece, we could have ramming as part of the game. Right. Unfortunately, in modern warfare, World War II, Ramming's not necessarily a good sure, thing to do. Yeah, of course. Um, expensive bits of kit as well, aren't they? Expensive bits of kit. Here we go. Unless you've got one of those radio controlled. Uh, In which case, yes. <laughs> the, the whole aim is to ram it. Yeah. We're just squirreling around there. Yeah, we'll you're probably still in range of that um, S and I should over be able there, to you? shoot him, absolutely. Try and get some shots off, however. The rear gun can definitely get I the air, yeah, of course. Yeah. Both guns can still open fire on that because I'm not going through my bridge superstructure. Sure. So the superstructure cl is classed as the bridge. Yes. So if, as long yeah. as you're not shooting through your own bridge, you've got a full sort of 360 degree. Yeah. yeah. Red will be the 20 mil at the front. Yeah. And both misses. Long range but large target. Keep uh, it at a five. Just probably just keep it as a five, yeah. But still a miss, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I can live with that. Okay. Bring it out next. It's just got to be. And that should just be. My. So that, sorry, that was. Yep. There. That's the last, last one. Last MTB. Um, hmm. I think we'll move him combat speed again. And he's going to have to try and. I don't want to move a bit. No, I don't want to move too, too much slower. So, yes, combat speed. Yes. Yeah. And I'm going to. Try and get. Oh, I can't get some shots off. I'd have to shoot over the top of the <laughs> yeah. over the tanker, wouldn't I? Oh no. Okay. So um, yeah, I guess let's get him another fourteen and uh, bring him round again. Okay. That'll do. Nice formation flying there. Yeah. Not. Uh, I'm not feeling too confident about that going into the next. Thirty-seven mil ship. Uh, will it? Um, is it in range though? Well, Fifty-seven first thing, meters, isn't it? Is it A? Is it in range? B? Will it? Actually, Ooh, it's just out of range as well, isn't it? Yeah. Hit. Yeah, it's just out of range and potentially crossing the bow. This All chits are out. Yeah, so that's us back. That's done. So how many turns do we play through for um, for, for these scenarios? Is there Five or six. Five or six. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for the average mission. Now, we're fly playing on a quite a small table comparatively. Sure. Um, the average start a game, you can easily play on a three foot by three foot, sort of 900 by 900 mil. Um, I imagine though, the way, the way it's all laid out in terms of the points cost, the size of the, the, the ships and so on and so forth, it's quite scalable. Yeah. You the can more, take the it more ships, the bigger four. the table. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. I play at home with the kids. 
on a standard sort of five by three Lovely. dining room table, yeah. and we can easily play with six a Great. side. As long as you've got a defined area yeah. for being able to escort off yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Lovely. Define Lovely. your missions, land, escape, set minefields, all that type of thing. Of course. Right. I want to move this tanker. So I'm going to keep them at full speed. Okay. Um, but making those turns. As so you want we to make go. a turn? Yeah. So, so we're going to make a, a five. Yeah. We then can pivot. That's a yellow. And then let's just let's just have the next the extra ten without any further turns there. Oh, it's getting close here, Rich. Yeah. Did you say nobody's actually managed to do this yet. So can not, I claim not very some often. glory? <laughs> you can claim some glory if you can get him off the table, which will be next turn. Put on that uh, full, oh, full speed. Yep. Well, yeah. If you can get him off next turn, I reckon that's it, and that's your sixth. I think I've got a good six. chance. You know, I think I've got a good chance. Right. Next one. Now, of course, with other missions, you might want to put a ninety mil cannon on the. Course. Back deck or the well, floor deck. I don't know that I'll get in trouble for saying any of this, but I do remember seeing in the studio some lovely little transport rafts with 88s on the back. Yes, yeah. Eagle Ferries. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and they used to actually use lighters, marine, marine fire lighters. Cool. Fire, um, which, of course, the Italians and German fleets used. Lovely. Cool. I think I'm going to activate this one. Yeah. And thinking ahead, he's going to have to go at combat speed to make this happen. And I'm going to move to there. I'm going to be right on the edge of things. <laughs> really close there. He's, he's all right, isn't he? Yeah, he's getting around. That's me. He's still got some guns to bring to bear as well. Yes, he has. Oh, and some torpedoes. So this is all going to come down to who gets to go first. It could well turn. be down to that very last chit out the and bag. Unfortunately, have I got to get the full the full container no, off? You just, you just, just have to get it. to the edge. Right, okay. yeah. More victory. I still think that's over 15 centimetres. Though. And of course, he'll open fire with yeah. the 20 mil. Can I hit? Yes. Uh, more than likely, because I think worst case, it would have been a two, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, poor dice rolls today. Ten. A whole ten. Gradually knocking Putting him down. Putting him down to 37 now, though. He's, yeah, he's, 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 taken, he's, he's taken some damage. In fact, he's almost worth putting some of this on because he's well below half. He is well below half. Yeah. yeah. And, of course, if I can get a hit with a torpedo, 16d6 yeah. hopefully should do the job. That's not what we want, though. We don't want that. Right. I need to come chasing you now, I think. So uh, let's get combat speed back on this guy. Um, he's going to move his 14... And then chuck a little pivot in and let loose as much as he can on this guy. Okay. So I know I'm not close range, so I'm starting at five again. You're small, but we've both moved. So am I down to twos? Twos. Yep. Oh, I was hoping for threes. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so let's roll well, two at the same time. So let's yep. do the middle and the end, um, mm. middle being the red for yep. the, 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 the twin there. No. And then the uh, the last is it the quad on the back of this one, it is, isn't it? Uh, quad on that one. Oh, the oh, quad's hit. hit! Oh no! That'll do. And of course, that's three for a normal hit. And then three and more. And then the extra barrels give three you another barrels. three. Come on, let's see if we can sink yeah, this one. Uh, pain in my behind. Oh, so 10, 10, 16, 17. Is this going to be enough to sink 20, it? 23. 23. And, one, and one of those uh, is. Uh, that's. Um, down to 19. Okay, and then I've got a critical, which is a six. Ooh. And we know that that is crew hit. Okay, so they're so going to have to take a, we'll pop a, a crew hit test on there. That was worth it. That and was, of course, his felt, chit's uh, yet to come out, so that's very much worth it. Yeah, it felt. Um, is that all your weapons? That's all the weapons done, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, that was the final one that scored the, uh, the hit. And. I think we're going to do something similar with this guy. If I can, am I going to be able to get there with... Well, if you slow down a bit, maybe. 14. Ooh. I think we have to come past him, you know. Uh, oh, no, I could slow down, couldn't I? So yeah. I could go to slow speed yep. and just keep him in a straight line and hopefully... Yeah, okay, we'll try yeah. that. Let's move that out of the way. 14 is going to take me to there. Yeah. Right down to slow speed. 
I do love these wave counters. I can see yeah. some people doing some. There's going to be yeah. some modifications on here. I think uh, one of the modifications is likely to be the turn angle. Yeah. Is going to go onto the uh, wake. On the wake. So that you handy. can use your wake to help measure. Right. Yeah. Uh, before you slide it underneath. Yeah. Um, yeah, but these are great because when you're doing longer range, if you don't have a tape measure to hand, you can jigsaw yeah, place them cool. together yeah. and you've got small writing. What's the, what is the fastest slow speed boat that we've got? The fastest slow speed is likely to be the mass, right. um, which is in the region of, I want to say 15, 16 centimetres. Okay. Uh, at slow speed. At slow speed, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not too bad. It, so really, it's in, in some respects, you'll only ever need the one if you're just going to... Generally speaking, most of the... doing the one after as you the see, other. Most of, our, most of the game here, because we're on a smaller, tighter table and we're learning about torpedo action um, and manoeuvring, we're only using combat speed. Sure. Once you go up to fast speed, the chances of you actually doing any hits are quite negligible, yeah. as it should be, bouncing over the waves or through the waves at night. Um, however, combat speed is where you roughly want to be most of the time when you're coming into a shooting action or torpedo action. Cool, cool. Right, well, I've got some more guns to throw at you now. So I'm going to go um, the rear and the, the, the centre. So yeah. centre is the red, which is the... Twin. Twin, yeah. Um, I've moved, you've moved further away. So it's... Small target. Small yeah. target. Down uh, to twos. Down to twos again. Let's have some ones again. No. Nope. And then the, uh, the front... Gets a plus one, 20. so it'll be up onto three onto to three. hit. So there's lots of splish markers. No, it's a But 10. again, we'd have another splish marker there. Yeah, that's you know, fine. Plenty well, no, of that splishes was, that around. That would have been the four, wouldn't it? So, and then finally, it's your, uh, your last guy. And of course, I'll pass a order test, skill test. You'll try and pass. I'll anyway. try and pass. <laughs> if I was a veteran, that would have passed. However, okay. uh, now I need to so basically a do... So regular would be a five. And yeah. Yeah. Can't change what I'm doing. And he can't fire any weapons, can he? Yeah, uh, have, have a read. Ba, 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 ba. Um. If the test has failed, the vessel will continue in a straight course at the same speed as it was going during the previous activation. Ah, no, so you can still shoot. Yeah, should still be able to shoot. Cool. It's just as the yeah, crew can. regain. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll open fire. Yeah. Boo. Obviously, there's no torpedoes. Maybe these, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that'll be the last activation, isn't it? So that's all it we're is, doing. yeah. Um, so I've got machine gun, which is blue, and they both hit. So That's because it's large and moves so yeah. slowly, isn't it? So machine gun and a twin. Because he's large. And slow. Oh. Should have rolled those separately 16. in case any sixes came up. But oh, no. uh, right, so 16 off me, so that's yeah. going down to 21. 21 damage points. Before he leaves the table. Oh. It's, it's, it's going to come down to oh. those torpedoes, isn't Chips it? Chips in the bag. Yeah. What are we going to have? Who's going to be out the dice world? Oh, me. no, he's great. Can I, right, so can I get him off? Let's, let's find out. Oh, let's find, let's out. find out. 15 centimetres. With a, with a turn, I reckon. So if I move five. Yeah. Give him a little turn. I reckon that should shorten that, uh, that distance down a little bit that for way? me. That way? No, that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So a turn. Yeah, oh yeah, that's easily and 10 centimetres. Look at that. Well done. That was, I'm yeah. starting to get a sweat on there as well. I thought I was going to make it. So he's quite critically damaged, however. He's limped away, limped yeah. away. I think I, re I reckon it was a matter of moments <laughs> yeah. until he was about to be hit by torpedoes. Definitely, definitely. And right at so the last well, turn of the game. So. Well done. Right on that very last turn, turn six, and before first year out of the bag, it's your grey and you're off the table. Yeah, it's very exciting. And it plays very well as a scenario-based game, I think, yep. because you've, rather than just obviously you shooting at my boats, me shooting at your boats, it's nice to have something yeah. that's that objective, whether it be bring you know, infantry onto the beaches or escort that um, container through, or even escorting infantry. Um, yeah. it, you know, that container could be One, one of my favorite things. missions is uh, a sneaking mission where you're trying to avoid contact with the enemy. You're trying to get through the minefield you're trying to land some commandos or resistance fighters on the beach to meet up with their resistance sure. on a foreign shore. Yeah. And you've got to do it in a set amount of time without going too fast or too slow to beat the clock. If you go too fast, your wake gives you away, the sound of the engines gives you away, the enemy yeah. ships come in, and you've got to try and sneak that unit onto the beach in time. Yeah, that's cool. And get away. 
course, yeah, there's not just a drop and yeah. go, yeah, of course. And we um, haven't mentioned submarines at all, but they, they are in there as a crew rescue or a, uh, repair the submarine and escape, pick up a downed crew. You never leave There's a, a fantastic behind. amount of options mm. for scenarios that you could run, even homebrew ones. I expect yeah. we'll see a lot of people um, submitting their I own absolutely suggestions. absolutely want to see lots of more. Of course we do, of course we do. Of course, with the ship that we lost, we were, could, if we wanted to, place a marker, which is a raft marker, with the crew in the water, and we could play a second scenario now where the remainder of the flotilla come in to try and rescue. Of course, yeah, that. and I'd have what I've got left to try and sort Essentially, of Essentially, or stop more that. coming from the, from the uh, port yeah, as you radio yeah. for help. Lovely, yeah. lovely. Uh, it's fantastic. I think mean, what you get in the core set is, is brilliant. It's, it's, it really is a game in a box. Um, retailing at £50, I believe. £50. Uh, so that's You'll get bargain. four S-boats and uh, six Vospers. Carved container ship, which if I'd have managed to take you out, is also sinking on the other Fantastic. side because they're double-sided, yeah. as with the islands and charts. You'll get all your markers and ship stats within it. Um, the plumes... Yeah. These are the resin ones that we'll be selling later, but yeah. the ones in the set will be a bit like our bolt action pin markers Cost. in a crystal blue. Yeah, lovely, look quite perfect. Special. Yeah, um, yeah. There you go. Plenty of torpedoes. That's fantastic. Plenty well, of gun action. If you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, hopefully you're not sweating as much as I am at the uh, at the result. Um, but quite proud and pleased to have got that uh, that container off the it table. It can be done. <laughs> yeah, let us know in the comments below what you think. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Um, don't forget, it's going to be in stores and online by the 7th. Get your pre-orders in now. That's December. 7th of December, of course. Just yeah, in yeah. time for Christmas. 2018, in case Just you're watching this next year. <laughs> um, and thanks from me, uh, Charlie, and from Rich. Thanks from me. Thanks very much.